Hey, how you doing? Ray Rome's. So here we are in the midst of Thailand's high season. Oh, and you're thinking about coming over for a visit, are you? Well, let me lay on you 10 odd laws here in Thailand I think you should be aware of because, you know, I hate to see you get pinched and ruin your vacation and get deported. Well, who cares? Bye. <laughs> Let's dive right into this 10 odd laws in Thailand I think you should be aware of. And let me tell you, number one, personally, I don't think it's too odd. And when I mentioned deportation earlier, I think this one should apply, and that's driving shirtless. I've seen more gelatinous man boobs bouncing down the road on their Honda clicks than I care to see in a lifetime. So please, with cream and sugar, keep your shirt on, would you? Number two, don't go commando a.k.a. naked. Don't be getting naked here in the kingdom of Thailand. Now, I gotta tell you, since I've been in Thailand, I've seen various states of dress and undress for man, woman, and child on the beach. And I guess if you go to LK Metro and you go to Kinks, you'll see plenty of nudity. And I know I've seen things that I cannot see. <laughs> Number three, do not ever, ever, and I mean ever, disrespect the royal family. Let me tell you folks, they do not take this lightly. This is in America where you can make funny little memes making fun of people because uh, here they will give you the boo. Boo! Whew. Number four, do not ever step on Thai currency. Kind of relates to number three and that's disrespecting the royal family. More chances often than not, there's a member of the royal family on the Thai currency. So when you're going down Soy 7 with a fistful of dollars and one of your bots blows out of your hand, don't go chasing and stepping on it to stop it. Don't worry, a bar girl will pick it up for her. Boom! Whew. Number five, don't fly your country's flag here in Thailand. They do not dig it whatsoever. So when you come to Thailand, you rent a condo, don't... Don't hang a flag over the railing, you know, showing how patriotic you are, or stake one in the sand next to your cabana. They, they just don't dig it. Number six, don't litter. Makes perfect sense to any Mother Earth loving person, doesn't it? But guess who got one? I did. I got a ticket for littering when I was in Bangkok. I just got my visa, in fact. And in my defense, I had woken up after a 24-hour coma after being on a plane for damn near 24 hours, and I'm kind of stumbling around down the Sukhumvet, and uh, I decided to have a smoke, and uh, I see this thing attached to the BTS station structure thing, and it's a trough, and it had garbage in it, and I am buffed out the cigarette and put it in this trough where there was other garbage, and then next thing you know, this Thai policeman sprang out of the shadows like a ninja lurking in the night and wrote me a ticket. I gotta say, they were pretty pleasant about it. I sucked it up. Uh, the Thai policeman that wrote me the ticket asked me for a selfie because I look like the Blade Runner man, Harrison Ford. Take a look. Boom. <laughs> Number seven. Do not remove Buddha or images of Buddha from the kingdom without a permit. Strictly forbidden and probably the most disrespected law. I personally know someone who took Buddha for a round trip flight thrice. <laughs> Number eight. Do not speak any other language other than Thai when using an amplified broadcasting device. That's right, nobody wants to hear about you know, what present you like or don't like, or saving Jesus, or saving souls, or just acting like a loon. And if you do, just speak it in Thai. <laughs> Number nine, do not be in possession of more than 120 playing cards. That's right, folks. You can get arrested for having uh, over 120 playing cards. So you can forget about playing 52 pickup more than twice. <laughs> Number 10, boom. There's a time and place for everything, and that includes the consumption of alcohol. Can't do it in government buildings or on Buddhist holidays or in public parks, and that would include the beach, and I would say in the Pati area, down in the valley where the sinful city lies. They're pretty lenient when it comes to that. 
but all it takes is the wrong cop to see you stumbling around or talking shit, and uh, you're gonna go down for it. You're gonna go down to Chinatown. Boom! Whew. What are my closing thoughts? My closing thoughts are this. If you decide to come to the Kingdom of Thailand, have a good time by all means, but remember, you're a guest in somebody else's country. Be a gracious guest. Thank you for watching. Be safe and have a great day. Still can't believe I got this fine. 2,000 baht. That was a dirty ticket. It looked like a trash trough to me. It's my balcony.